There's a lot of really interesting big questions that I think we have to face in the world. Helping answer some of those big questions, providing a platform for others to answer those big questions. This is now an open space for a lot of our constituents to truly drive forward their own actions. I'm passionate about serving a group of alternative thinkers who have not only dreamt up great ideas about how the world can be more fair, more inclusive, more just, more sustainable, but are actually proving it's possible. If you go back 50 years to the time when the forum was conceived, the whole idea was to make the multi-stakeholder concept come alive. The world has become so interdependent that entrepreneurs everywhere in the world depend each on another. If you look at the history of the Forum, it's really been defining systems thinking. For example, the Gavi Vaccine Alliance. It took bringing all these great minds with resources together to say, what can we do about this? Today we're announcing that we'll spend over $10 billion over this next decade on vaccines. Trust really gives us our credibility. It's really the essential piece to ensuring that we can continue to do the work that we do. The Forum managed to convince Mandela and de Klerk to try to reintegrate South Africa post-apartheid. It has been my great privilege to fight a struggle for freedom that the world adopted. The ability of the Forum to have good convening power, to bring all relevant actors to the table, and to be able to do it in a way that can impact entire countries or entire domestic systems. Lassen Sie uns in diesem Geiste gemeinsam für eine gerechte und dauerhafte Friedensordnung für ganz Europa arbeiten. Our job is to get people around the table to construct and create conversations that aren't being had. Why wouldn't we have a conversation about how we can reorient trade rules? Because that would have quite a powerful impact on the level of emissions and use of planetary resources. We must learn to look at the planet, not as just a spacecraft on which we are passengers. We must see the planet as what it really is, a living being. What climate change has done, it's monumental around the world. People moving from where their families have lived for centuries because they can no longer afford to feed themselves. Putting people in faraway places and pretending that they don't exist, that is not ethical, it's not sustainable, and it's not conducive for human growth. There's a much more concentrated effort to make sure that we're bringing in the voices of the next generation of business leaders, societal leaders, government leaders. We need to not underestimate the power that this youth has. Private sector and businesses, industry overall, has a huge role to play. It's not just the business itself, it's also related to the society, to how we can create a better world in the future. We are working together with companies to think about AI and ethics, but also to recognize what human-centered design really means. We have the Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution to discuss technology governance. We always put humanity and human in center. And that's where the forum is at its best. It's as a way to shine a spotlight of where the world community could be headed. We have the incredible potential of the information technologies, of the ways of communicating. We're only at the beginning of recognizing how far that is going to change our lives. Each one of the fourth industrial revolution technologies has that potential to create a society that's more positive, that's more sustainable, that's more inclusive. If we can accelerate the formulation of a solution for a rare disease or climate or access to healthcare by a single day, it means a lot to a big chunk of the world population. This is about shaping the trajectory of our planet, being that credible, neutral platform that is trusted to bring these stakeholders together and provide them guidance that they're willing to implement valuing equally that lots of different people might have a contribution to give. Because it often is some of those sort of rare ideas that are coming from an unexpected place that happen to be the game changers.